Our other big story tonight, of course, Hurricane Lee. We're keeping eyes on it. First alert, meteorologist James Whelan. The 11 p.m. advisory is out. Yes. What's new? We just got it in here. And it's steady state for the uh, maximum winds, 115 miles per hour, which keeps it as a Category 3 storm. Here, let me show you. Uh, what it looks like here is a little bit of dry air got entrained in it. You can see by the uh, little gap in the reds there, and that's starting to uh, wrap around here. But you see still in the core there some some of those higher cloud tops, those colder cloud tops in the red. So we could be seeing a little eye wall replacement cycle. And this thing's going to start to expand too once we see that happening. Weakening, steady weakening here over the next few days into the weekend. But as it weakens, it will expand and get larger and then eventually become extra tropical, but may head right up into Nova Scotia. Take a side swipe at New England too, where they're going to feel some powerful effects from this because the wind field is going to be so large. Cape Cod and maybe Rhode Island and Long Island and going to see similar to a nor'easter without the cold and snow though. Uh, Margo hurricane, it is strengthening 80 miles per hour now. It's starting to get a little eye to it too, and it's possibly strengthening into a cat too briefly before dying on out and becoming a tropical storm. That one's not moving all that much every day either.